In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress software and create a blog using your free web hosting account on buyithost.com. So the first thing we're going to do is download the WordPress software, and you get that from wordpress.org. Uh, click on the Download WordPress button on the home page, and then click again on this button, which contains the zip file, the zip archive, that uh, contains the WordPress software. Once that download is complete, you go ahead and unzip the contents of that archive. And now you have a folder called WordPress. So now we need to transfer all the files inside this folder to our Buy It Host account. So we'll do that using an FTP client. I prefer using uh, CyberDuck on the Mac. Go ahead and click to open a new connection. Now in here, you're going to put the information that you received from buyathost.com uh, as far as your the FTP server name, your username, and the password. So if you don't have that information handy, you'll have to look it up in the email that you received when you signed up for your account. Go ahead and type in your control panel username or FTP username here and your password, and then click Connect. I'm going to install WordPress inside a subdomain that I created named uh, sherlock.isgreat.org. So I'm going to double-click on that folder, and then double-click again on hdocs, which is the so-called root folder of my subdomain. And that's where I'm going to install WordPress. So now I'm going to look for the files that I just unzipped. And then I can uh, select this whole folder and drag it over to my FTP window like this and just let go. And then the transfer is going to get started. This transfer is going to take quite a while. There's a lot of files in there. So uh, we'll come back when that is complete. To install and use WordPress, you'll need two major pieces of technology which are supported on your Byte Host account. The first piece is PHP which is the programming language that WordPress is written in. And the second piece is a MySQL database server. So we're first going to create an actual database that WordPress can talk to and insert the content of your blog into. So for that, you go to panel.byathose.com and you log into your control panel as usual. Click Login, and then click on MySQL Databases. It asks you for a new name for your database. So we're, we're just going to be very unoriginal and type in WordPress here, and then click Create Database. Now Byathost tells you what the full name of your database is and it's whatever you typed in prefixed by your control panel username. So go ahead and copy that piece of information because we'll need it later on. So while I'm here, I'm going to copy down one more piece of information, which is the name of the MySQL uh, database that is associated with your Buy It Host account because we'll need that in a little while as well. Okay, let's see how our file transfer is doing. Oh, it looks like that's complete. So now you have this folder named WordPress inside the root of your website on Buy It Host. I'm going to go ahead and rename it to Blog. And uh, now we can go ahead and initialize the WordPress installation. Open a new browser tab and go to the folder where WordPress is installed on your website. So in my case, that is sherlock.isgrade.org. And then the, I put my uh, WordPress installation in the blog folder, so I type in blog. You'll end up on this page that says um, that WordPress wants to create a configuration file. Click OK. Click on that, that button. 
and uh, this is just WordPress telling you the information that it needs to proceed. So it needs a database name, a database username, and a password, a database host. So let's go ahead and provide that information. So the database name that we created, if you recall from before, um, was WordPress, um, but you have to actually provide the full name. So in my case, it's this long string here that I copy in there. And the username for MySQL is a piece of information that you look up in your Buy It Host account. If you don't have it handy, um, it's this information here where it says uh, MySQL username when you signed up. And then for the password, it's the same password as for your control panel. The database host is the information that um, we had copied before, so if you don't have it, you can just go log into your control panel and look for this here that says MySQL host name. Copy that and paste it in here. And then for the table prefix, you can just leave it as a default value and then click Submit. And uh, you get the confirmation that WordPress was able to communicate with your database and go ahead and click Run the Install. So on this screen, you provide a title for your, uh, your blog and you can always change it later but I'm just going to name mine Sherlock is great and the main username will be this is essentially like who's going to be the main author of your blog and in my case it's going to be Sherlock and then you also choose a secure password and type it in twice and here you provide the email address that you want to associate with your blog. This is where WordPress will send all the email communication regarding your blog. And then click Install WordPress. Now you have your, your own blog. So now you can log in to your blog with the username that you created and your chosen password. and click the login button and now you're looking at the WordPress console now by default WordPress is going to create uh, a couple of blog posts and comments you can go ahead and delete those or just take a look at them um, but first let's take a look and see what our website looks at so click on visit site and here you have it so you can see your blog is installed wherever you placed the WordPress files and here's your sample blog post. You can now add content to your blog. Uh, for example, you can edit this blog post and um, type anything you want in it. And click on update to update the post. You can view it and see that your changes have been made and that's all there is to it. Now you've got your own WordPress blog. I'll give you a quick overview of themes in WordPress. Now, themes are the way that WordPress customizes the appearance of blogs and I'll show you how to change from the theme that's currently selected, the default theme, into uh, an older theme. So up here on the menu you choose themes and you can see that the uh, currently selected theme is 2011 and we want to change it to the 2010 theme so if you click on this uh, activate link that will take care of it to see the changes just go back to visit your site and you can see the appearance of the site has changed